Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. North Korean state media reports first official COVID-19 deaths as outbreak spreads North Korean state media has reported the country's first official COVID-19 deaths, with six people dying amid an explosive spread of illness. The reports on Friday came a day after North Korea confirmed an outbreak for the first time since the pandemic began, triggering a nationwide lockdown. A failure to slow infections could have serious consequences because the country has a poor health care system and its 26 million people are believed to be mostly unvaccinated. Some experts say North Korea, by its rare admission of an outbreak, may be seeking outside aid. The North's official Korean Central News Agency said on Friday that more than 350,000 people were treated for fever that had explosively spread nationwide since late April and that 162,200 people had recovered. It said 187,800 people were being isolated for treatment after 18,000 people were newly found with fever symptoms on Thursday alone. It was not immediately clear how many of the cases were COVID-19 and the country likely lacks testing supplies. The North said one of the six people who died was confirmed to have been infected with the Omicron variant. Leader Kim Jong-Union had ordered all cities and counties to strictly lock down after the BA2 Omicron variant was detected in Pyongyang, KCNA said. There has been the biggest emergency incident in the country with a hole in our emergency quarantine front that has been kept safely over the past two years and three months since February 2020, the report said. Mr Kim visited the Antivirus Command Center on Tuesday a day after declaring a gravest state emergency and ordering a national lockdown. Government and people united as one Mr Kim called for the thorough lockdown of cities and counties at a ruling party Politburo meeting. He said workplaces should be isolated by units to block the virus from spreading. He also urged health workers to step up disinfection efforts at workplaces and homes and mobilize reserve medical supplies. Mr Kim said it was crucial to control transmissions and eliminate the infection source as fast as possible, while also easing inconveniences to the public caused by the virus controls. He insisted the country would overcome the outbreak because its government and people were united as one. Despite the elevated virus response, Mr Kim ordered officials to push ahead with scheduled construction, agricultural development and other state projects while bolstering the country's defense posture to avoid any security vacuum. North Korea state TV showed the leader and other senior officials wearing masks as they entered a meeting room although Mr. Kim removed his mask to speak into a set of microphones. Still photos distributed by KNCA showed Mr. Kim unmasked and sitting at the head of a table where all other officials remained masked. Offers of help from abroad the measures described in state media and Mr. Kim's declaration that economic goals should still be met could indicate that North Korea is focusing more on restricting travel and supplies between regions. Analyst Kyung Song Chang at South Korea's Sejong Institute said. North Korea's government has shunned vaccines offered by the UN-backed COVAX distribution program, possibly because they have international monitoring requirements. Seoul's Unification Ministry said South Korea was willing to provide medical assistance and other help to North Korea based on humanitarian considerations. Relations between the Koreas have deteriorated since 2019 amid a stalemate in nuclear negotiations and the North's increasingly provocative weapons tests. In Beijing, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson So Lijun said Beijing was offering North Korea help in dealing with the outbreak. North Korea has reportedly rejected previous Chinese offers of domestically developed vaccines. Kim Sin-gon a professor at Seoul's Korea University College of Medicine, said North Korea was likely signaling its willingness to receive outside vaccines, but wanted many more doses than offered by COVAX to inoculate its entire population multiple times. He said North Korea would also want COVID-19 medicines and medical equipment shipments that are banned by UN sanctions. Public health situation must be serious Omicron spreads much more easily than earlier variants of the coronavirus, 
and its fatality and hospitalization rates are high among unvaccinated older people or those with existing health problems. That means the outbreak could cause a serious situation, because North Korea lacks medical equipment and medicine to treat virus patients and many of its people are not well nourished, Dr. Kim said. Ahn Hyung Su, head of DPRKHEALTH.org, a website focusing on health issues in North Korea, said North Korea's admission of the outbreak was likely designed to press its people harder to guard against the virus as China had.